Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here coming to you from, well, remote, but in the mid-Michigan area. And we're going to stay here because Matt Latham is going to join us. He's a CPA and a principal and CEPA, which we'll get to in a minute, with Maynard Kasterson, which has offices in Lansing, but also in Grand Rapids. And uh, hey, Matt, first of all, welcome and congratulations on your new certification uh, thank everybody what 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 CEPA is and what it stands for. Well, first, thank you for having me. I appreciate, you know, being able to, to join you uh, this morning. So the CEPA, as I like to call it, CEPA is a Certified Exit Planning Advisor Accreditation. And basically what that means is um, we're here to help businesses of any size um, talk about transition and kind of the next steps. Um, when they when they decide to retire or they start to talk about transitioning their businesses, the accreditation itself uh, basically requires about 100 hours of, of pre-study before you even take the actual course itself. And then it's a week long lecture classroom, all virtual, but still a classroom setting for five straight days. And then we have to take a uh, proctored exam, uh, which you know, kind of, kind of been a long time since I think I've taken an exam. I think the last one I took was a CPA exam some 15, 16 years ago. So it was certainly, certainly an interesting experience. I've always found that um, a good habit is to sit next to someone smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, this was out of my house. So but my dog didn't count. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, sometimes my dog does do smarter things than I do. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so so let's go through the cadre and jump back at what Maynard Kasterson does, because there, there's a wide range of uh, things. Yep. So we are a full service accounting firm. So we do the traditional, you know, audit tax accounting services, but we also look to go above and beyond that and being a trusted advisor. Um, we also have a technology group um, that helps, helps uh, small businesses through any, I mean, you name it, any technological issues. I personally, um, being a tax principal, work and try to develop strategies with our clients to um, help minimize tax liabilities as much as we possibly can um, under the current tax legislation, which is always a fun treat because, um, you know, Congress is always kind of trying to figure out where to go next with those with, with those tax laws. And uh, we just really like to get down, you know, to bare bones and really work with our clients, you know, day by day and kind of help them um, maximize the value and the wealth of their business. I've never met a, a, a CPA who didn't say, I, I love the legislation they do in DC <laughs> because it makes me necessary. There's change change to the tax laws every 12 hours or something. It's, it's ridiculous. Yep. And the fun part this year was there was a house bill passed. If I remember correctly, it was early February and it kind of, and it's still in the Senate. Um, so it still hasn't passed. And the, and the issues are some of it is retroactive, not only the 23, but the 22. And you're kind of sitting here going, OK, what do we do next? Yeah. Yeah. How do you plan for something you don't know? You know, no, you're absolutely right. Um, so you look amazingly arrested. Uh, you, you just came through the tax season. Uh, tell me about that, about how the tax season went and, and with some of these new changes. What, what did uh, what did your clients run into as far as problems? Uh, so as I just mentioned, that tax legislation was probably the biggest issue because there were some there were some um, retroactive changes and trying to figure out how to plan and how to file the twenty three return. Um, so things like R and D credits, um, depreciation, uh, sunsets that are happening right now that still haven't been extended by Congress, and trying to plan accordingly and what to do and help. And help our clients through that. Um, so there were probably a few more extensions this year than in the past, um, but for the most part, it went pretty smoothly, as smoothly as tax season can go. Listen, this um, this SEPA designation you got this this is not a common thing. I mean, that, nope. that's quite an honor. Yep, yep, and um, it's a relatively it's a relatively small group in the grand scope of the entire country. There's 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 only probably a few thousand SEPAs around the around the country. And um, where we kind of step in is um, you'd be kind of amazed, you know, right now there's, you know, what, tens, you know, 10, 11,000 people retiring on a daily basis. 
Um, the Exit Planning Institute, which helps put the program on, had a survey that you'd be amazed that 83% of business owners don't even have a written plan down for, for what's next. 50% um, have no planning done at all. And that's kind of shocking when you consider the amount of wealth that exists out there right now in the baby boomer generation that still is in, in the transition you know, the transition period, transition phase. And that's where we kind of step in to try to help business owners, whether you're near retirement or whether you're 10 years from retirement, it doesn't really matter. It's always good to have that conversation. Well, you know, it's interesting because I do a fair amount of uh, startup consulting and I can't tell you how many uh, strategic plans I have seen written on napkins. I mean, it's just, it's, it's <laughs> kind of the common trait, but uh, I, I've always thought that when you start a business, probably the second or third day you should start planning your exit. Yep. And the one thing we found is that a lot of clients don't want, you know, exit sounds scary and yep. it's pretty understandable because you do have to start thinking about what's next. And I'm sure you've run to a lot of business owners where, you know, one thing they're, they, they like to be busy, you know, maybe not necessarily working, but they like to be busy and having that plan in place and talking through with somebody can really help kind of move that business into your next generation, whether that's your kids or, or whoever ends up taking it over or wherever you end up selling it. So yeah, if it's not scary today, it's going to be scarier then if you're not yep. prepared. Matt Latham, CPA uh, principal and uh, recent SEPA uh, designation, Maynard Kasterison uh, is his company and they have offices in Lansing and in Grand Rapids. Great company. Matt, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And thank you for having me. All right. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman.